So this morning I I got out my pen and paper and and also oh, first actually I, the thing I did was um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be by some water on this um, in this spot of bush so I actually did jump in the water and and washed off the the grime and the and there was a, I guess a symbolic immersion in the water that washing off um, old old worries and after being being in the bush overnight gradually feel like you know really dropped in and connected with the space and and feeling more um, yeah less of the mind there was a fair bit of mind chatter um, in the evening and even as I was watching the stars um, and gradually that s seeped away and, and jumping in the water that had a sense of um, getting rid of I don't know, a symbolic sense of washing off the the stuff that I don't need and and bringing me really strongly into the moment and the cold of the water does that as well I think really pulls you into the moment and um, so so then I felt pretty ready to just to to find my spot to do my my um, note taking and planning and and working out where this year is going to take me and I pretty much used the process. I left a link um, in a couple of videos ago. Um, I'll, I'll put the link again in these comments just for those who are interested. It's just the process I use. There's a million that you can use and. Um, the interesting thing was, after the swim, I thought I'll come back to that spot for um, uh, to do the reflection process. And as I was picked up my pen and paper and was ready to go, again I, I, I caught myself just just thinking in my head where I would go and and just tuned into my um, yeah, it's just opened up to more or focused on my heart center and. And listen to where it wanted to go, and, I, and as I looked around, there was a strong pull again. The light and it was shining on on certain trees, and that I felt a really strong attraction to that, and it pulled me in a totally different direction to where I, my my brain had said to go. And so I ended up um, being drawn to a, a quite an odd spot. It was. It was in the middle of a of a river channel with lots of boulders, and um, and all these grasses and and reeds growing in a real twisted mass, and um, and and there was a beautiful smooth rock just right in front of that wall of twisted mass that um, I was drawn to. So so I sat there and and it just felt. I don't know if you've had that experience where certain places have a powerful feeling uh, at a particular point in time, and when you sit there, there's a sense of rightness about it. So, so that's where I I did my reflection and and noted down my thoughts about last year and where I um, what what are the things that are high on my my um, or, or strong in my mind for the for the year ahead. And then it came time to craft, um, I guess, my statement for the year ahead. And in my reflection and, and in sitting in that spot, I just had a strong sense that one of my, my challenges is, is in amongst the chaos and the craziness of life, I sometimes lose myself and become ungrounded and really worried about what others think of me and and um, and overwhelmed and and then yeah anxiety kicks in and I lose my sense of self and so so yeah that that spot all those twisted reeds um, just just really helped take me to that that um, truth that inner truth and. And then the statement that I that I've crafted is 
my goal for 2021 is to maintain my integrity as a grounded, connected, loving and lovable being. So I just wanted to share that process. If it's useful, good. If it's not, then um, fine as well. So I wish you all well.